In a certain sequence, the term x sub n is given by the formula, and we have this complicated formula, for all n greater than or equal to 2. If x sub 0 equals 3 and x sub 1 equals 2, what is the value of x sub 3? So this formula is called a recursive formula. And what's going on here is that x sub n, the n, is the place in the list. So n equals 2, that would be the second entry in the list, x sub 2. And this is telling us that x sub 2 equals 2 times x sub n minus 1. So that is the entry 1 less than it on the list. That's x sub 1, the one right before it, minus 1 half x sub n minus 2. Well, n minus 2 is 0. So this is the entry 2 before it. So really, the rule is every entry on the list equals 2 times the number right before it minus 1 half the number that is 2 times before it. That's the basic idea. So x sub 2 equals 2 times x1, so that's 2 times 2, minus 1 half times 3. So this is 4 minus 3 halves. This is 5 halves. So x2 is 5 halves. Now we need to follow that same process to find x sub 3. So x sub 3 equals 2 times the number before it, which is now x sub 2, minus 1 half of the number 2 before it, so that's x sub 1. So that is 2 times 5 halves minus 1 half times 2. So this is 5 minus 1, which is 4, and this is answer choice C.